Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Gemini September 7, 2022. Today's conversations revolve around love, relationships, pleasure, and emotions, although the general approach is detached and not necessarily deep or personal. If you have the chance, create something fun or fabulous, even if it's a creative dinner or new entertainment. Love feelings seem to dominate today, even if it's more about thinking about them than connecting with them. There can also be some exciting revelations about your buried desires or needs today. Approaching things just a little differently comes naturally now, particularly with work, finances, and emotions. Alternative methods seem more useful. Information surfacing now can help free you from something that was holding you back. With the Moon Balsamic, be sure not to overdo or push a matter but do aim to enjoy the positive vibes that could very well lead to small breakthroughs in your work or intimate life. You have a positive attitude and focus, even if you're tying up loose ends and taking things easy for now. The sun continues to energize your orderly sixth house of due diligence, but it is also in the process of approaching a harmonious sextile to rebellious Uranus via your eighth house of mergers, shared resources, and soulmate connections. Whether you're single or already romantically attached, chances are you've been putting your current connections under a magnifying glass, perhaps in hopes of making something work in favor for both you and a significant other. Fortunately, with the help of Mars and your planetary ruler, Venus via your fourth house of home, family matters, and innermost feelings you're keeping your eyes on the prize and thinking long term. As the moon leaves Libra for Sagittarius, you may feel the tension alleviate from your private life. Now under the new lunation, your attention shifts from home and family to your creative endeavors. As the day goes on, you may be thinking about what you can do differently in your line of work, who inspires you, and what you could make yours. Luna is inventive in a typical Sagittarius, so it can be the perfect transit to brainstorm new creative processes. Since it is such a mental lunation, you should write everything down to keep track of your brilliant ideas. So far this week the stars have been kind to money matters with the Moon, Venus, and Mars all forming a friendly aspect to the North Node in your financial sector over the last few days. Today it is the turn of the other side of the financial fence, with the Moon's return to your work sector as a new Moon set to put it at a friendly aspect to the South Node in your income sector over the coming days. You're running around in circles trying to make up your mind about something, most likely your love life. It's not going to come down to anything rational, so go with your gut, and where all the cuties are going. Giving in to your instincts is a natural move for you. However, there is a tendency to confuse instinct with excess. The planetary alignment challenges you to find what is really the best outlet for your instinctual urges, and can provide direction if you tune in. Some dietary advice, try to use grains and legumes for your energy and protein sources this week. Starting a new book, or perhaps a course may hold great interest for you today. Learning is an integral part of being a seven, and with the essence of this day in the air, engaging in a new venture may suit you marvelously. Try to reach beyond your usual interests by exploring different subjects. This will bring greater expansion to your development and knowledge base. Let your love of learning steer you toward greater enrichment by entertaining the possibility of completely different experiences. In a case of perfect timing, today's playful, Creative and romantically charged lunar vibes are not only making it easier to embrace the weekend spirit but to keep your work hat off. This is a chance to heed the work and life balance reminders of the last few days but also take time out before an adventurous full moon in your work sector in two days. With the moon returning tomorrow to begin the lead up, today's playful lunar vibes and their friendly aspect to planets in an adventurous part of your chart offer a firebreak between one working week and the next. Having the moon in your romantic sector over the weekend is always an advantage, making it easier to embrace these romantically charged lunar vibes. Having come full circle from last month's eclipsing full moon this was always going to be more potent, 
while a friendly aspect to planets in an adventurous part of your chart is helping to bring the spirit of romance and adventure together. Our Eyes in the Sky Today, the Moon in Capricorn connects with Jupiter, Mars, Uranus, Venus, and Saturn. We can attest to the fact that by activating five planets, the lunar energy, as well as emotions, will be powerful throughout the day. First, when the Moon aligns with Jupiter in Pisces, it broadens the heart and spirit. The energy helps us become more open and kind to others, something we can all embrace at the moment. Next, when the Capricorn Moon connects with Venus and Mars, both of which are in Capricorn, we can expect to feel as though we're taking action to align ourselves with relationships that acknowledge our truest desires. Finally, Uranus asks us to shift our mindset, while Saturn pushes us to take action around personal evolution and growth, which seems harder than ever. Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and the Moon are strongly defined, which is why it's important to pay attention to themes of commitment and loyalty. You might have to do some work to earn others' trust, or vice versa, which you might not want to do, but the presence of Uranus makes it necessary. In the morning, the Capricorn Moon sextiles Jupiter in Pisces, inspiring us to enjoy life's Epicurean pleasures. Notably, we wish to be charitable with what we have. This could be as nuanced as sharing our philosophies or beliefs, or as simple as sharing a meal. Honesty reigns supreme, engendering trust and kindness. Our idealism shines through in our interactions. Even those who meet us in bad faith may be disarmed by our sincerity and instead resolve to act honorably with us. Before noon, the moon trines Mars in Capricorn. Both of these influences are exalted in their signs, making the melding of these energies an embodied and harmonious one. Events transpire which make us aware of our strengths. Hard work and patience help us meet our goals, yet we won't feel like we must rush to the finish line. Having a positive attitude and adopting a pragmatic approach delivers a stress-free success story, whether in business, family matters, or even asking a crush out on a date. Although our frustrations are valid, perpetuating harm is no way to reconcile our past. In fact, through these confrontations, we become more practiced at supporting and healing the inner child who craves validation. Be your own best cheerleader now. It is our birthright to express ourselves, take action, and forge new paths, no matter how loud we are or who we might disturb in the process. It is not our responsibility to make ourselves palatable for others, and rectifying this ideology helps us attract true friends and allies. It might not be the most romantic energy around, but this common sense lunation helps you deal with reality in a very practical way, allowing you to get the tough stuff done in a simple and very matter-of-fact manner. What will make your life easier? Think of the little details and now that will help you make the transition to a new season a little easier. Organize a closet or your work desk. Get a jump on spring cleaning, dust your bookcases and computer equipment. Start on all those little tasks that require attention to detail, because you have plenty of that now. And keeping your mind busy helps keep it off of bigger issues and problems that can lead to catastrophe-type thinking. 